Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm gonna to go over quadratics and how to solve quadratic equations in Google Sheets. So if you got 10 different quadratics, really easy to do once you understand a few little parts about quadratics. So let me put the camera over my shoulder. I'll talk just for a minute or two about quadratics and then I'll screenshot um, Google Sheets on how to solve quadratic equations. So this is a quadratic. It's a quadratic because there's an x squared term, an x term, and a singular term. A quadrat there are a lot of ways to solve quadratics. You could solve them by graphing the quadratic formula, which we'll do on the spreadsheet, or by factoring. If you're going to do it by factoring, the first thing you want to do is get it, everything on one side and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract x here, and from here, I'm going to subtract 30 from both sides. And the whole reason I'm doing that is to set it equal to zero, because there are two roots for every quadratic, and they are when the y value is equal to zero, it's gonna cross the x-axis. So this gives me x squared minus 3x, 20 minus 30 is negative 10, and that's equal to zero. Now that I have the whole thing set equal to zero, I'm gonna factor it. The only factors x squared are x and an x, the factors of 10 could either be a 10 and a 1 to get a 10, but they're not going to add up to give me a 3, or a 5 and a 2, where they'll multiply together, give me a 10, and add it together, give me a 3. One has to be negative, one positive to give me a negative 10. The larger one's going to be negative, the smaller one positive to give me a negative 3x. The check is x squared minus 5x plus 2x, negative 3x minus 10. Now that I factored it, I use a zero sum property to find the root. If this thing is equal to zero, the whole thing will be equal to zero. Or if this thing's equal to zero, the whole thing will be zero. So either x minus five is equal to zero, or x plus two is equal to zero. I'm gonna add five to both sides here and see that x is equal to five, or I'm gonna subtract two from both sides and see x is equal to negative two. So my two roots are five and negative two. I could take those and plug them back in and make sure it works. 25 minus 15 minus 10 is equal to zero. That one works. Or I could take this one and plug it in. Negative two squared four plus six, right? Negative two times negative three, four plus six is 10. 10 minus 10 is zero. That one works. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a spreadsheet and the beauty of a spreadsheet is I could enter equations and put in as many um, quadratics as I have in my homework, and they, they could all get solved pretty quickly. Before I get started on my spreadsheet, I need to know a little bit about quadratics, and I need to know the quadratic equation. The quadratic has to be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So I have that here, x squared minus 3x minus 10. So my equation was x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals zero. The value in front of my first term, we're gonna call that A. The value in front of my B term, in front of my x is my B term, and then this is my C term, so C is equal to negative 10. The other thing I need to know is that once it's set equal to zero, x, and this is the quadratic formula, is gonna be equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We're actually going to enter this twice. This is going to give me my two roots with the plus or minus, so we're going to enter it once as a positive and once as a negative to get the other root. So let's go over the spreadsheets and we'll enter this equation and we'll set this up for a, b, and c, and then we'll enter our quadratic formula to solve it, and then I'll show you how quickly it is to drag it down and solve as many quadratics as you want. One important thing to note here is we're gonna to have to use a lot of parentheses. Okay, I'm in Google Sheets. It's a free program from Google. Make sure you title it first. It's in a good folder and you share it with your teacher, whoever you're doing this for. I have a column called equation. Here's my first equation. If you look in that lower right-hand corner of your screen, here it is, x squared minus three x minus 10. And then that little carrot up above the six is x to the power of two. Then I'm looking at the value in front of the x squared. That's my a value. That's going to be equal to one 
the value in front of my X is my B value. That's a negative three. And then my C value is going to be the value right here, negative 10. It's already set equal to zero. So that's good to go. And then now I'm going to solve it with quadratic equation. Okay, so the way I create an equation, I start with the equal sign. And I'm going to open a parenthesis up and put my whole numerator in a parenthesis. Then it's going to be negative B. I don't type in the B value. I click on that cell. So negative whatever that cell is. I'm only going to do plus. I want the square root. So I start typing that in, square root. That pops up. The square root of the quantity B squared. So again, I click on that cell B to the power of 2 minus, I'm going to put this in parentheses as well, 4 times A, so I click on that cell, times C, close quantities, then I have to close the parentheses for the square root, then I also have to close the parentheses for the one right in the beginning. So there's my whole numerator, I hit the division sign, so divided by 2A, I'm going to put that in parentheses as well, 2 times, so that's the asterisk above the 8 on my keyboard, 2a, and I click on that cell a, close parentheses, and I hit enter, and there's one of the roots as a solution. Remember right here, one of our solutions was 5. Now we have to find our other solution. So I'm going to go back to solution 1. I have an equation here. I'm actually going to copy that whole equation. And then I'm going to click over in solution two, right click paste. The only difference in this one is remember it's negative B plus or minus the square root of. So the first equation was plus. The second equation will be minus. And then I'll hit enter. And there's my second root, negative two. Let me show you how cool this is. Let's say we have another equation. Let's say I have y equals two x to the power of 2, 2x squared, plus 12x, plus 10. I could factor it, or I could just put his values in his a, b, and c, and then I'll be able to drag this down and use it for as many equations as I enter. So the value in front of x squared is 2. The value in front of the x is 12. And then my c value right there is 10. Now watch this. It's like magic. I'm going to click on this cell. I'm going to drag it down. And there's my first solution. Click on this cell, and there's my second solution. So the roots to this quadratic are negative 1, negative 5. I could enter as many problems as I have on an assignment, and then just click here, and then just keep dragging it down, and that's going to give me all my solutions. Please comment below if that helped, if you're using spreadsheets.